In 1972, a fledgling educational institution took its first steps when General Ralph E. Haynes issued General Order 98, officially creating the United States Army Sergeant's Major Academy. This new academy would occupy a collection of World War II buildings located on a patch of desert in El Paso, Texas, called Bix Field. Their job? To become special preparation source for the Army's NCO elite, the Sergeant Major. It was a mission the cadre took to heart. The very first class had a mere 105 students, experienced first sergeants and master sergeants, and included the first female student, Master Sergeant Betty Benson. The academy was also directed to create a program for spouses, as General Haynes thought to widen their outlook and improve their ability to support their soldiers' careers. This group began as the El Tima program, later evolving into the Family Readiness Group and finally the Spouse Leadership course by the 1990s. The creation of USASMA finalized the establishment of the NCO education system, a three-tier system of education, which included the Basic Non-Commissioned Officers course, Advanced Non-Commissioned Officers course, and the Senior or Sergeant's Majors course. The USASMA sought from the very beginning to attain college accreditation for its work and in 1975 was accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools as a technical and vocational school, but could not offer academic degrees recognized outside of the Army. Continuing its high level of professional education, the Army took note and gave USAVRA more courses to manage. In 1981, the Academy assumed responsibility for the first sergeant course. That was followed by the NCO Operations and Intelligence course and the Personnel and Logistics course. These courses would later morph into the Battle Staff NCO course. In 1981, USASMA was also made responsible for the Common Leader Training and in 1983, the Advanced Non-Commissioned Officer Common Corps. The same year, we opened the NCO Museum, now known as the NCO Heritage and Education Center. USASMA became responsible for the basic NCO Common Corps the very next year. In 1985, we broke ground on a new facility, one that would set us on a path towards history. Over the next 14 years, the cadre at USASMA continued to hone the NCO professional military education, infusing changes in doctrine, policy, regulation, and lessons learned into our courses. We created a Command Sergeant Major Designee course and Command Sergeant Major Spouse Seminar introduced video teletraining into the basic NCO course, and transformed PLDC into a warrior leader course. We also created the infamous Structured Self-Development. In the summer of 2009, USASMA made NCO Corps history when Command Sergeant Major Raymond Chandler was named as the first enlisted commandant. That announcement told the Corps that our destiny was in our own hands and we needed to lead from the front. From Chandler to those who followed, and with the help of senior leadership from the Army and trade-off, these warrior scholars, along with the cadre at USASMA, molded the Sergeant's Majors course over a two-year period into a collegiate-level course. In March 2018, a combined Armed Center execution order officially made USASMA a branch campus of the Command and General Staff College, thus placing it under the academic governance policies and processes. In October of 2018, the Higher Learning Commission, an independent corporation founded in 1895 that accredits degree-granting post-secondary educational institutions in the North Central Region, came to USASMA and studied our efforts within the Sergeant Major's Corps. Three months later, on January 17, they granted CGSC the authority to award a Bachelor of Arts in Leadership and Workforce Development to the Sergeant's Major's Corps, beginning with the pilot class, Class 69. While all this historic work was being accomplished, the NCO Leadership Center of Excellence ushered in a new NCO professional development system, replacing the legacy NCO education system in 2015. Since then, we've made revolutionary change to every level of PME. We renamed the Warrior Lead Course, redesigned the basic leader course to build leader and trainer skills, created NCO Common Core competencies, providing left and right limits of NCO roles and responsibilities. Created the Master Leader Course to prepare Sergeant's first class for leadership and staff assignments as Master Sergeants. Assisted in the revision of the DA Form 1059, Service School Academic Evaluation, adding class ranking and GPA. Instituted the Select Trained Education Promote System. 
Revised Training Circular 7-22.7, the NCO Guide, and establish the NCO Professional Development Directorate with operational control over active component NCO academies, and much, much more. For more than 46 years, this institution has lived, be, know, do. We have led the way with character and lived by the Army values. We have amassed individuals with knowledge and skills necessary to lead by example. And we have acted providing purpose, direction, and motivation to be excellent in everything. We provide professional military education that develops enlisted leaders into fit, disciplined, well-educated professionals capable of meeting the challenges of an increasingly complex world. We are the NCO Leadership Center of Excellence, and our future looks bright.